Hello guys, it is European Coffee Trip. Today we are here in our little office in Brno. And as we are in our office, we'll be showing you how to make great office coffee using Mocha Master. Let's do that. Mocha Master KBG741. This is our new brewing device. We got this in black color. For the last few weeks, we had a chance to play with it, test it out. So now we can share with you what we love about it and also how to make great cup of coffee using Mocha Master. So let's start. So what are the reasons why we love Mocha Master? Reason number one is that Mocha Master is a product with a history. It was actually invented in 1969 by Gerard C. Smith and since then it helped many many people to brew perfect cup of coffee in the morning and this is actually objective of Mr. Smith. Reason number two is that Mocha Master is still handmade in the heart of Netherlands and not even handmade but all the parts comes from Europe so this is what our heart of European coffee trip still really loves. Reason number three is that Mocha Master is stable and consistent. It went through many many tests and received several certifications so you can be sure that Mocha Master will not let you down in the morning. One of the certification is from Specialty Coffee Association that qualified Mocha Master to be used during the World Cup Tasters Championship. Reason number four is that it just looks beautiful. It will look beautiful in your office or on the counter of your kitchen. And we choose to have the one in the black, but Mocha Master is actually created in the 15 different colors. So you can be sure it fits your interior really, really well. Reason number five is that you can brew 10 cups of coffee in only six minutes. So take a look how to do that. So how to brew great cup of coffee with Mocha Master? Even though Mocha Master automates most of the brewing for you, there are still few things to remember and to do. The most important thing being the coffee itself. You cannot really brew a great cup of coffee without using a great coffee in the first place. So we recommend using a freshly roasted coffee, ideally from the specialty coffee roaster. In this case, we'll be using coffee from Vertov Coffee Roasters from Switzerland. They are our friends and also roaster of the month and we'll be using their Guatemalan coffee for this brew. When you have your coffee, important thing is to actually grind it just before brewing, just on spot, so it captures all the aromas, all the flavors in your cup. So for grinding, the important thing is the grind size. So we'll be having something a little bit coarser than what we normally do for the pour over method. So you can imagine it as a, as a crystal sugar size of the coffee particles. In order to make a great cup of coffee every single time, you need to actually measure how much coffee and how much water you are using. So Mocha Master recommends 60 grams of coffee to one liter of water. And this is actually also our standard way of brewing with any other method, so we'll keep it that way. So next step is actually pouring the water into the water reservoir. So get a fresh, clean water and Use a separate carafe, don't use the one that you, you have within the Mocha Master because there you, can, you might get a little bit of the coffee flavor in it. So use a separate clean carafe to pour water inside. And actually for measuring the Mocha Master makes it really easy for you because there are the lines to exactly know how much water you need to put in order to brew two, four, six, eight or 10 cups of coffee. Once water is in, you need to put uh, paper filters into the brew basket. We'll be using the white filter from Mocha Master because they have less of a wood taste in it comparing to the brown ones. And for paper filter to fit really well to the brew basket, uh, you need to fold longer side and then the shorter side, and then it's very easy and comfortable to put paper filter into the brew basket. Last thing before you put your coffee into the brew basket is actually rinse the paper filter to get rid of the remaining paper taste in it. So really everything you're gonna taste will be coffee, nothing else. Then you add your coffee and then you just push the button and you can observe the magic of brewing coffee with the Mocha Master. 
So after you turn the switch on, you can actually hear that the heating elements start to work and water is getting warmer and warmer until it reaches the proper temperature for coffee brewing that is between 92 and 96 degrees of Celsius. And actually the machine by the construction keeps the water in this range for the whole process of brewing. So this is very important for the quality of coffee. Then it starts to pump the water into the water outlet and you can see that the water outlet has a nine holes. This way it guarantees that the water spreads evenly over the coffee bed and the whole extraction is really even during the process. Then the coffee starts to pour into the coffee carafe and thanks to the special feature of Mocha Master that is the pipe that goes really down into the coffee carafe it already mix in the process of brewing all the layers of coffee so once your coffee is ready after 6 minutes actually you don't need to do anything you can basically pour the coffee into your cup and, and drink it straight away because all the layers are well connected after six minutes, once your coffee is ready, you can take advantage of another feature of Boca Master, Intelligent Hot Plate. It actually keeps your coffee warm for an extended period of time. Or you can be like us and take the carafe out, so you actually enjoy how coffee cools down. So it's up to your preference. After you enjoy your great cup of coffee, there is one important thing to do, and that is cleaning your machine. You should be really cleaning after every single brew and you should be cleaning the water carafe and the brew basket. It's very easy to take it away from the machine, so no excuses. And it should be pretty simple, don't put it to the dishwasher, just wash it with the water and use a little bit of detergent. That's it. After about 100 of cycles or if you run out of paper filters in your box, that's about the right time to use uh, descaling chemicals to clean your machine a little bit more. And if you do that, your machine will be, will be working very well for many years. We hope you learned something more about Mocha Master. If you have any questions, leave us a comment or visit the website of Mocha Master, link in the description. And there is one more thing, Mocha Master is actually giving away one of these machines, so what do you need to know in order to win the machine? You have to subscribe our YouTube channel, like the video and leave us a comment with what color would you like to get from Mocha Master. They are having it in 15 different colors. And let us know why you are the right person to get one. In the next video we'll be announcing the winner and so we wish you good luck and see you next week. See you next week. Bye Thanks bye. Thanks for watching.